Jujib gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Akafi. For today's video, guys, this is not a video that I wanted to do. This is not a video that I wanted to react and give a response, um, but it must be made. Since I came back on, on social media in previous video, I did tell you guys, I will be as open and try my best to defend myself because I know that some of you guys are defending me and I know that some of you guys are trying your best to defend me and debunk certain narratives and certain certain things that are being said about me. Um, this video, I've got tagged a lot. Some of you guys have been tagging me. Some of you guys have been asking me, are you going to respond? Are you going to give an answer? So in today's video, that's what I'm doing. So before we get this video started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below. And if you haven't turned your notification bell on, make sure you click the notification bell so you know every time I upload. So let's go. Um, guys, to be frank, um, I have been getting a lot of DMs and I have been getting a lot of people asking me what I think about this. I haven't seen the video only because um, it came out like three weeks ago and I was in high haters from social media. I was in a break so I didn't look at my phone. I didn't look at what's going on, what's being said about me. I had no time and then when I came back on social media, that whole week was a birthday week so I was just celebrating. I didn't want to go into it. And then the week after, I had a busy schedule, shoots, filming, um, brand deals and a lot of things. So I didn't really have a time to sit down and give my response to what is being said about me and this video that I have to react to. And I could have just made it, you know, a short video in a way of like just going live or going on Instagram and just addressing it. But it's best to address it in my big platform of YouTube where people can go watch it and see it. So, um... Shout out to Ali Dawa. I've never met him. Um, we've never spoken. I don't know anything about him, but I do know that I've seen his videos going viral on Twitter and stuff like that. So shout out to the brother. May Allah bless you first and foremost. Uh, he's a Muslim brother. So may Allah bless you. May Allah bless your family. May Allah just bless you in general. So we're going to get into the video. I've got the video right here. Um, and also my dad and like family has been sending me the video. Like, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? And I was like, guys, I really don't want to respond. I really don't want to do anything. And they were, they told me, yeah, that's best for you. But I feel like as my growth and moving forward is best to address things and defend myself um, the best way I know how by speaking and using my voice. I really don't like, I just like making my funny videos and like um, comedy videos, TikTok videos and just going about my day. But again, social media is changing and like a lot of things are changing and people want answers. People got questions and they need answers. So... Okay, let's <laughs> Wow, he uses the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, I know the game. I know the game of social media. Cool. Um, so, message to Akafi reaction video. Uh, you've got a message for me? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to get right into it. Um, and a reaction video, so I'm guessing my TikTok videos or YouTube videos or videos that have gone viral and... It caused a confusion to a lot of people, but we love a bit of confusion. I love a bit of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> mashallah, nice intro, mashallah. Um, beside my him, I hope it's something nice. Guys, I really don't like watching things about myself, the way people react or the way people talk about me. I really don't like it. I like to be just in my house. I like to be in my house. Oh. Okay, no, stop. Um. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to brothers and sisters in the defense. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. This is a Alex Somali Salam. brother uh, who is basically um, does videos on TikTok, who's maybe an entertainer or whatever. I've, I scrolled through some of his stuff, it's just mainly dancing and music, uh, etc. Right. Uh, but some comments that I'll just scroll Not the kissing video, screen. guys. That was uh, a self love. Look yourself in the mirror and kiss it. Well, a lot of people can be judgmental. Uh, you know, very judgmental. A few things in the perspective here because it's very important sometimes we don't realize and understand the damage that we can do to our own self. Right. While we might like the, uh, dislike the actions of others. Uh, and then what happens is you are the one that ends up losing, you know. Losing. Guys, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a panic attack. I'm getting a panic attack. Why am I getting a panic attack? I'm getting a panic attack. No, uh, I'm, I'm very dramatic. I'm so dramatic. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop being dramatic. No, um, but no, he's right, and I hope throughout the, he he seems like he's giving me a good message or from what he's saying, from just the beginning, I can tell that he's coming from a really positive, critical um, thinking, um, and I don't feel like he's attacking me or there is no attack to me. Uh, but let's see the video. Uh, so I just want to put a few things into perspective here. Uh, number one, um, that of course that, for example, it is not befitting for. Uh, the opposite genders to be imitating the other. Right. Um, so that's one thing that's clear in our religion. You know, there's a hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. That, uh, that, you know, somebody who, you know, um, wears the clothes of the opposite gender, so it's not permissible, uh, etc. But, for example. Is he coming for my Somali moms? <laughs> no, the Somali mom skits. I hope he's not coming for it. Wait! <laughs> No, but he's absolutely right. He is absolutely right. We can't disagree. Facts are facts. When facts are facts, you can't disagree. You, it is what it is. You go. <laughs> that we need to bear in mind here is okay. that just because somebody acts a certain way, be it a female or be it a male, right? For us, damn, he put. Hold on, guys. He really pulled up my comment sections on TikTok. Um, my comment sections. If you guys have seen it, so many people have seen it. Thousands to millions of people have seen my comment sections. It's really, it's really the pits of hell. Like, it's really the pits of... The way people drag me is like, I'm not human. Like, I don't have feelings. And I understand it because when you're on a bigger platform, when you come on a platform, people don't automatically see you as a human being. They see you as just the video or, you know, the character. And they don't really see you as a human being. Understandable. I, Alhamdulillah, that I have that understanding, and I've told myself like it's not you, it's them. They projecting their own insecurity. They projecting what they've got going on in their personal life or whatever that they are dealing with. But again, um, I always pray for them. Wallahi, I always pray for people. May Allah heal people. I know that there is suffering. I know that there's pain. I know that there is so much going on in the world that can cause someone to feel a certain way. Um, could be a previous video that they've seen could be a previous message that they've seen and that they and then my video came up and they've seen and they you know um attack me and take their anger frustration out of me i understand but may allah heal your heart may allah soften everyone's heart because it's that we we definitely need it but my, my comment section pits of hell <laughs> in my life if you could go to hell Go to my comment section. And yeah, like I said in the previous video as well, go to my comment section and you feel so much better by yourself because it's like, the way people drag me, you will just be like, oh my God, wow. You know? Give them names. Backbite them. Slander them. Now, this is a matter of slander because there are people in those comment section uh, who are literally calling this person gay. Yeah. You know? And, the and day, they're saying, Kanis, they're saying it's you're it's finished. They're saying so heavy. many things. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very heavy. You know, it's not something that's like... Uh, slander specifically uh, about uh, it's about women. Basically, one of the seven, seven major sins uh, that there's a hadith about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is mentioned. It's, it's even in Surah Nur, peace be upon him. Quran, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala talks about slander very, very harshly. You know, and there's a punishment of eighty lashes for anybody that slanders a chaste woman. Now, this doesn't mean it's just for women. Obviously, slandering a, a man could be you know there could be grave consequences as well. So we need to bear in mind just because someone acts in a certain way or behaves in a certain way. You in no way, shape, or form are allowed to call that person a name or spread rumors about that person. Yeah. This is haram. You are not allowed to do it, period. Now, if you don't like that person, I think it's very silly if you're someone that believes that you are going to be backbiting someone you don't like because if you understood what the consequence of backbiting is, is that they will get your good deeds. Now, not only that, if you have no good deeds left, you'll be carrying their sins. So if this person is committing sins by doing this, Let's argue and say, you know, it's not, it's not permissible, you know, let's say the way he's conducting himself, etc. Let's suppose he's falling to sins and he's accumulating the sins, those sins. Well, hundreds or thousands of you guys that are calling him gay or calling him this or that, etc. On the day of judgment, you might end up carrying all the sins that he's done. So the point is, why would you go down that route? Now, when I see that, I'm not saying... Like, when I see this person, like, he's a Muslim brother to me. Right. And at the end of the day, you know, believers have to be, you know... We have to be to soft, guys. We have to be soft. Brother. Yes, the stuff he's doing, I don't approve it. Like, to me, it's like, I'm like, it's better if he didn't do it. Um, and I'm just talking about the whole music and dancing thing. Like, again, yeah, that is distasteful. And like, uh, uh, I wouldn't... Brother. Brother Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa. Pull up your chair. Let me talk to you. Stand up. Are you serious? Um... 
it may not be tasteful to you, and this is not an attack to you, brother, but I'm just saying to everybody watching and, you know, everybody, um, certain things I do may not be tasteful to somebody else, to the next person, to the next person. And it could be taste tasteful to somebody else. So it could be tasteless to you and you may not like what I do, but there are people who, who may like what I do and what I will continue doing and how I provide entertainment and comedy and whatnot. But I just feel like um, a lot of people have this idea of like, you need to be like, you need to be doing great, you need to be perfect, you need to be all of the... First of all, perfect does not exist in my vocabulary. Are you sorry else? Perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. Um, but what I am doing right now is growth. I'm doing healing. I'm, you know, evolving. And every day I try and ask Allah to make me evolve and gain the knowledge. And knowledge is power, like I always say. Um, so that is what my understanding and thought process is all the time. I was different than, you know, 2020, 2021 on coffee than who I am today. And it's all about evolving and growing. And some people don't like my growth. Some people don't like me being all, you know, uh, hippie, hippie, hippie. They don't like that. And that's fine. I don't expect people to like what I do and what I've got going on. The same way that you've got things going on in your pr private life, personal life, that a lot of people may not like and may not be tasteful to the people. Um, but again, what I need to make clear is, brothers and sisters, sometimes a person might have personal issues that is going on in his life. Right. So they express it in different ways. Now, I'm not saying that makes it permissible. What I'm just saying is sometimes we can just apply good assumptions. Right. Applying good assumptions doesn't mean that the action itself is a halal. No, it can be haram, but we can try to... And, um, from what he said, I, I would like to tell you guys something as well. Like, um, before I left social media and like even 2020, 2020, I was dealing with a lot of personal things um, in my personal life. And, you know, be it, be um, being insecure, being all of this, being name calling and all of that. Yes, I did go through that and I did use it to my best of way of trolling people back and telling me you're this and that. And I'm telling them that, OK, so what were you going to do about it? Do you get what I mean? And I kind of understand it now that I was feeling not feeling but fooling fueling yeah fueling <laughs> adding fire to the fuel basically adding fuel to the fire that's exactly what i was doing and i understand that now because what i was doing it was i was perpetuating um what people were calling me and giving people a reason to even hate on me uh for more because of the content that i was doing but i was doing it from a place of um why are you calling me this? I'm going to do it more. You're telling me not to dance. I'm going to dance more. You're telling me not to act this way. I'm going to act this way more. Like how, who gives you the power to tell me what to do? Do you get, do you, do you get what I mean? So I can't tell people what to do. If somebody's doing something in their life, I can only play for, pray for them and hope for the best and assume the best of people. Because you can't just fall into assumptions and say, this person is this or this person is doing this. Um, This person is, you know, uh, whatever. You can't do that because then you're... You're giving assumption away and you're giving power to assumption. So please be aware of that. And advice. So maybe he will be watching this video. Aki, you know you are a brother. We have nothing but... Assalamu alaikum, brother. <laughs> I just want to advise you, inshallah, because there was a video Mashallah. that I found a little bit very disturbing. You know, what video? I just wanted to share that. With all, with all, you know, just as a brotherly advice to you, you know. Not the Starbucks. <laughs> Not the Starbucks. I know, oh my god, guys, this video, can I really talk about the Starbucks? Because the idea and the intention behind it, generally from the bottom of my heart, Allah knows, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie. The intention behind it was that there was an audio on TikTok where if you click on the audio, everybody is doing um, something that relates to it, or, you know, a Batman or this or that. People, were, people had lollipops, people had uh, ice creams, people had things that associated with doing that and kind of breaking that misconception of like oh I, i've got a lollipop or i've got a you know ice cream that it doesn't mean i'm that do you get what i mean and then i was at the time i was at starbucks and i really literally the the sound came on my for you page and i was like oh my god create this like people that have you know drinks men are always called like oh why are you sucking this and then that it wasn't you know to interpret it the way people have interpreted it. The, the way people have took it to places and really projected something that it wasn't. It was so scary and it was like, whoa, what are you talking about? What's going on? That was my general intention. And if people have saw me in a different light or, you know, whatnot, 
that's your business but to the people that generally do support me and love me i apologize if that video has made you a bit like oh what are you doing i generally apologize and that was never my intention but let's hear what he has to say uh, something from starbucks and you're you know the way you're uh how can i say your interaction with the straw <laughs> uh, was... <laughs> interaction with the straw interaction with the straw Am I having a conversation with the straw? I'm not having a conversation. What interaction am I giving? Are you sorry as Ali Dawa? Ali Dawa. I'm coming to Pakistan. I'm coming to Pakistan. Pakistan, Zindabad. No, wait, is he Pakistani? I hope he's Pakistani. What is he? I hope he's Pakistani. But interaction with the straw. Brother, interaction with the straw. <laughs> well, your vocabulary is funny. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's peace to be a funny one. And some companions saw him. And he went to those companions and he said, just to let you guys know, this is my wife. Wow. You know, just so I, I love this. No I love doubt. this story. You know, people, there's no question mark. And they said, oh, I love this. How could, like, of course we know it's your wife. How could we think otherwise? He said, Shaitan runs in the blood uh, of Adam. Some of you guys are the Shaitans. Some of you guys are the Shaitans. It's, you guys are going to be locked up. Ramadan is a week away. Lock them up. Lock them up one by one. Collect them. Lock them. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So meaning the shaitan can come. This doesn't give an excuse for people to back, but it will slander you. But you need to understand if there's certain things that you're doing, it's right. as if you are opening those doors. Um, yeah, and it, it, um, like I said before, it's not permissible for anyone to slander back by you. Right. But, but I definitely do understand. Like I said, from growth perspective, perspective from a growth and evolved Akafi perspective, I definitely do agree with that. I was opening doors for people um, to assume and leaving that, you know, question mark for people to assume and run with narratives and make rumors and make lies and those lies become big because they know that there's so many people that love me and there's so many people that support me. So it's fun when you've got, you know, lies and rumors, people will run into it. People, people find it entertaining. Oh my God, what are we doing? What was he doing? What was the next rumor? What was the next site? So it's becomes a way of you know assumption and all of that and i opened those doors intentionally not intentionally without knowing i did those things because i just did it out of fun i did it out of you know playful i did it out of just having fun on the on the platform but i didn't really you know it's all about growth now i know now i know <laughs> let me let me not to work out <laughs> okay let me Right. What it does is it leaves people a bit confused, you know. I love a bit. Like, I love a bit of confusion. I love. <laughs> no, but I love a bit of confusion. Your confusion has nothing to do with me. If you are confused and you're looking for answers, why are you looking answers for? Why are you confused? Why are you confused? It's like your life or my life. Why are you confused? <laughs> but yeah, I do love a bit of confusion. <laughs> I'm a big troll. You know, you feel this person can be like that. They might be like. Don't know. Right. So the, per the, 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 the point that I'm trying to make here, bro, is that we need the way we carry ourselves. We can't leave doubt. Inshallah. In yeah, inshallah. I'll, I'll try my best. best. I can't be rolling around with a girl, and, you know, um, argument saying she wears a miniskirt, etc. Like, oh, no, just assume that. But if you wanted to problem. do it, we need to drill <laughs> up from what's apparent. And once again, yeah, you're right. This doesn't mean you backbite. The point is that I might be playing a role in what they're doing that might be causing it right uh, you know but then again even inshallah moving forward and like i said in my previous video as well inshallah moving forward thank you so much for the advice and the critical thinking and from a really genuine positive um he hasn't put me down or bashed me shout out to him but um yeah some people may not like the way he's uh, responding to the video about me or giving the message to me a lot of people may not like him some people may say Talk to him in private. Why would you make a video? But again, we're, we're on a platform and this is the way we communicate. If he had done it private, I would have loved it even more. DM message. Would have loved it so much Then it would have just be would have been between me, me and you. Um, but the reason I'm responding is because it's pu uh, public and I have to defend myself. Public land! Are you going to defend me? No! <laughs> yeah, and another thing is that, guys, is that sometimes even though we can be trying our best and we are striving to do the best and all of that, people will always assume. And I think when we have the idea of, 
I need to be perfect. I need to do this right. I need to do this right. I can't make a mistake. You go crazy because you're not really living life the way you're supposed to live life. Life, we're supposed to make mistakes. Life, we're supposed to learn from our mistakes. Every day, we're not going to wake up and be, today's going to be perfect. Today, everything's going to go right. No, everything's not going to go right. Because if I say everything is going to go right, I'll be lying to you and I'll be lying to myself. Everything's not going to go the way you want it to go. It's going to go the way Allah wants you to go. Um, and like, there's always message and there's always a learning process from Allah that he will give it to you. When certain things doesn't go your way, it means that there's a lesson to learn from and there is, you know, um, blessings. So, yeah. I'll wrap up on this, inshallah. Uh, like if we insult somebody's mother in Islam and if they insult my mother... Back, They've insulted my mom. They've done... Insulted my mom. <laughs> They've insulted everybody. So, what I'm just saying right. is, mom, please just be a bit careful. I understand. Inshallah. Um, and, you know, uh, may Allah bless you. May Allah, bless you. may Allah bless you as well no may Allah bless you may Allah you know take you to Jannah may Allah you know give you love and everything that you want um, but thank you so much that was so nice thank you guys inshallah please be careful and maybe share these videos with, with him inshallah and he can see that's what I wanted to share with you guys that, I'm watching this is major sin guys Stay it is for no one's perfect guys until uh, next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum salam thank you yeah. very much Hey, sorry else um yeah that was that was a really great message thank you so much brother um uh, hello i'm filming see everything doesn't go my way you see <laughs> Okay, no, um, generally, the video was really great. Um, thank you so much for the positive uh, feedback. I know that there's certain things that you didn't like and there's certain things that you did like. But again, I'm on a uh, public platform. I love entertaining people. I love spreading laughter. I love spreading love and peace and positivity. That is me. I'm not trying to be the next person. I'm not trying to use clout or use attention. No, um, whatever I've you know dealt with or whatever I'm going through, I like to share that and use it in a comedic way and you know make other people laugh because I know that there's a lot of people uh, hurting. I know that there's a lot of people going through things. And if I can be a light and make someone laugh or even smile, Alhamdulillah, that is a gift that Allah has given me. And I'm so, so, so grateful. But um, yeah, thank you so much, brother, for the message. May Allah bless you and your family and your loved ones, everybody. Um, yeah, and that is it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below. And if you haven't turned your notification bell on, make sure you click the notification bell so you know every time I upload. And by the way, don't be making reactions videos about me again. Anybody watching, don't think that a coffee is gonna like is gonna react to every video. I'm not. This is just the one of because I just wanted to really um, defend myself and really say my what I needed to say. And I said what I needed to say. We've seen the evidence. Yeah, but yeah, see you next time.